photography. And it's freaking me out. Schlemmen means streak in German, and that's what we're seeing here. Streaks of light sent by air. It's like seeing the wind. Normally we can't see the wind, but we can feel it. A Schlaren camera isn't literally photographing air. It's capturing light distorted by air. But the result is like watching air move. Around anything from an aircraft in a wind tunnel to a potentially fatal gas leak. Just think of the potential. Here's how it works. We all know hot air rises. That's because molecules in a heated gas move rapidly, pushing away from each other. This makes the gas less dense and therefore more buoyant than the air around it. This difference in density opens a window to Schlaren photography. See, as it hits air of differing densities, light changes speed. As it does so, it bends, creating a visible distortion. When we use Schlaren photography, we're seeing changes in density. We're seeing disturbances in the air that are bending light rays. We observe this phenomenon every time we see a mirage. Hot air is distorting light differently from cold air. Same thing when we look at the stars. It's what gives them that twinkle. But how do you capture this phenomenon on video? Here's the trick. Look at this candle. You see a flame. What you don't see is that it's surrounded by moving air. But you will soon. First we have to capture all the light passing around the candle by using near-perfect mirrors. They focus this light to a point. Then we need to isolate the distorting light from the straight light. Gary uses a razor blade. This blocks out straight light, but distorted light bends around the blade. Suddenly, a whole new world springs to life. We can see the invisible. The hot air churning around the flicker flame. are 25% heavier than air, so you can see them falling out. Because we get late. 